Welcome back to LA Unscripted, the show that keeps us safely connected and offers up local ideas for when California reopens. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon and we are all about rediscovering iconic LA locations like the beloved Bob Baker Marionette Theater. Now our Olivia de Bortoli becomes a puppet master. Bob Baker Marionette Theater is uh, the longest and largest running uh, marionette theater in the country. We've been around um, since Bob Baker, our founder, was six years old, all the way back in like 1930. He saw a puppet show when he was six and then spent the rest of his life creating what is the Bob Baker Marionette Theater. It's about 2,000 puppets. We have uh, a dozen like, hour long musical variety marionette shows. We cater to kids of all ages, is what we say. It's a place of joy. such a rich history. Tell me about kind of the history of the theater and how it came out. Started a puppet theater in his garage, eventually uh, moved to downtown Los Angeles and had a huge puppet theater there. And as well as puppets, is also fabrication and making toys that we would sell through department stores throughout the country. Um, it's making like window displays for Disneyland. So if you know Main Street, the main uh, thoroughfare of Disneyland, Bob made all those window, window displays. It's puppets for movies. And then, yeah, about, about two years ago, or right, really right before the pandemic kind of hit, we moved to a new location in Highland Park. Uh, which we love. It's an old silent movie theater, and we just did a big opening, um, and then a uh, pandemic hit. Speaking of, of a pandemic, a, a Zoom puppet show sounds like the coolest thing ever and sounds so cute. Tell me about that. It's a wonderful way to kind of um, connect people with puppets and with joy. And, and really, so we do these Zoom puppet shows. You can do it for a birthday party, for a company party, for a field trip. And we do about a half an hour long puppet show, and you get to meet the puppets after it. And really get a really in-depth backstage experience. What is it about puppets that is so attractive to people and that, you know, make people so happy? To me, the beauty and charm of, of a puppet is that it can be anything. It's like there's an empowered imagination that goes behind it, that a piece of, piece of cloth can become um, a character or a friend or an enemy or a villain or a hero or whatever it may be. That the sense that you can be transformed into a story, into an emotion by something that's so simple and something you really can see that isn't real, but it, yet, it, yet it emotionally feels real. That's that's the key to the joy of puppetry. You can make puppets out of anything. Uh, a puppeteer really is just a matter of unleashing your imagination, to kind of give life to anything. <laughs> and I'm going to try puppeteering with the sock. Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to see your show. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. Hello. I'm just kidding. Imagine an old Disney cartoon, but live in front of you. Like, that's Bob Bacon Marinette Theater. It's like song and dance, and it's gags, it's cactuses that spring flowers, it's dogs, it's chickens that lay eggs. It's a whole song and dance kind of review show um, is what we do. 